Is that your real name or is that like a fictitious name? Lala. Yeah, well, the whole, I mean. I oh, Lala, the island gal? Well, no, no, no. You have a last name, right? Yeah, Baptiste. No, okay, that's my last name. Lala is my nickname. But when I was growing up, the reason I got that nickname was because my little sister couldn't pronounce my real name. My name is Nyella. So she took the, I guess, law from the end and it just stuck. And then through school and everything, that just became my nickname. It was easier for people to just, because no one could pronounce my name. And, and it just became like what I go by. Like my agency has me as Lala now. Mm. You know, it's just like a little stage name, I guess. Was there ever a thought on using your real name for like um, the agency that you're a part of and things of that nature? It wasn't even a discussion because I already just went by Lala. Like they didn't even, even ask me. They just put that as my name on like the website and everything. And I was like, you know, it's cool. Yeah, I now, don't mind. Your actual uh, real name, mm -hmm. not the nickname, mm -hmm. um, why did your parents name you that? Where did that come from? What's the meaning behind Nyla. It that? came from, I think it means like Mother Nature or something, but I know it's an Indian name and my mom's best friend, that was her, that's her middle name. So that's where she got it from. But yeah, hey. <laughs> I see. So. Now, uh, what is your ethnicity? Okay, so my mom's side of the family is from Trinidad and then my dad's side has like a mix, but He's mixed, so there's just so much on that side. But I just mostly identify as like Caribbean, Trinidad, Islandish, you know, just because that's mostly what I'm made up of. But my family's crazy, so many places. Do people guess any of this stuff when they meet you? Do they think um, you're something else when they meet you? I get like what I am, but that's not what they, like that's not all they think I am. I get obviously just mixed like black and white or just completely straight like Spanish or yeah, no one, I don't know if anyone ever says, like, are you Trinidadian? Like, I don't know if anyone's ever said that. People mostly just think I'm Hispanic or just, like, mixed black and white. But I don't know. I've gotten a lot, though. I've gotten, like, Middle Eastern. It depends how my hair is because my hair is naturally very dark. So if it's, like, straight and dark, I'll get all types of stuff. I've gotten, like, Blasian, like, everything. Do you speak any other languages aside English? No, and I really want to learn. Like, I want my kids to speak Spanish and English because I just feel like those are just two languages that you need to know. But no, nah, I hope I learn though. Hey, I don't know. Mm. Um, for you, what language do you want to learn? Um, definitely Spanish. Like, I mean, I took. And I have people like around me that speak Spanish, but it's just different. I feel like the only way to learn is if you spend time in like a country or something. Because at school, they just teach you like the, what's the word? Like they don't actually teach you how to speak it. It's like the nouns and all the other stuff with it, you know? Like, so that doesn't help me. But definitely Spanish. I would like to learn French, but that's so hard. So one at a time, you know? You took Spanish class in school though? Yeah. I did. And I actually think I took Spanish honors, but for some reason I don't know how to. I still don't know how to speak. I did just, you take the class serious, or did you just run through it like it's oh, just nah. an easy elective? I just type ran of. through it. Like I just made sure I passed the class. 